To quote Qui-Gon Jinn, and probably somebody else, there is always a bigger fish. He thought Loki was bad, but then Thanos rocked on up and blew him out of the water. The Megalodon is one of the most legendary sea creatures out there. But what if we were to tell you that there are some things that are so much worse? These are Mariana Trench creatures that are scarier than Megalodon. Number 15, Pliosaurus. Living in the ocean depths between 150 and 145 million years ago, the Pliosaurus was the first type of Pliosaur to ever be discovered and named, and it showed us quite how dangerous the prehistoric waters truly were. There are nine known species, each of which has slight variations to one another. But there was one commonality between them all. They were huge and terrifying. Thought to have grown to a length of around 50 feet, their skulls along were longer than 6 feet, most of which was made up of a giant mouth that was lined with sharp 12-inch long triangular teeth. This would have been perfect for hunting the large fish squid, and reptiles of the time, but was also instrumental in their ability to defend themselves against other ocean predators. To put this into perspective, had a human been swimming near a pliosaur, it would undoubtedly have been able to bite and swallow them in one gulp, with a similar attack method as alligators use underwater today. This is one monster we're fortunate doesn't still roam the oceans, as far as we know, because if they did, the waters wouldn't be safe for anyone. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14, The Fangtooth. The Fangtooth is a bizarre deep sea fish whose Latin name, Anoplogastridae, literally translates to mean unarmed stomach. They are one of the deepest known living species of fish, having been found below 16,000 feet in trenches around the world, and have some unusual adaptations to allow them to thrive in these conditions. The 6-inch long fish has the largest teeth of any known marine animal, relative to their size, and their fangs are so big that they can't ever fully close their mouths. Relative to body size, these are the largest teeth in the ocean. They even have grooves on the side of their heads to allow the lower teeth to sit in position while not being used and to prevent them from damaging themselves. But when they're on the hunt, these prove to be viciously effective weapons. With tiny eyes and no light available to see their prey, they rely on their other senses to determine when a meal is nearby. They float in the water, waiting for the opportune moment, and then snap their jaws, impaling small fish and invertebrates on their fangs. Amazingly, this is the only species of deep sea fish that has been able to be brought to the surface and be kept in aquaria, despite the conditions being so different to what they're used to. Which just goes to show how adaptable the fang tooth actually is. Number 13, the Dumbo Octopus. There are hundreds of different species of octopus across the globe, but the one that lives in the deepest depths is affectionately known as the Dumbo octopus. They're just as highly intelligent as any other, but they get their name because of their unusually positioned fins, which almost appear to be giant ears, like the elephant from the Disney movie. They even use them in a similar way to the famous pachyderm. They have been found at least 13,100 feet beneath the ocean surface, and are thought to be able to survive much lower down, where they flap their fins to propel themselves through the water, feeding on any small creatures that they come across. Ooh, that's a Dumbo. Look at those ears. Because they live in such an inhospitable environment, Dumbo octopuses don't have many natural predators, and therefore don't have protective ink sacs like other species do. They're very rarely seen, or caught in nets, so their life cycle and size aren't fully known. But one specimen was found to be almost six feet long, meaning it could easily wrap itself around a human if it came face to face with one. Number 12, the Barrel Eye Fish. 
Often commonly known as spookfish, barrel-eye fish are some of the most unusual animals in the ocean. They live at depths of at least 8,000 feet and have developed an ingenious way of detecting prey and predators. Macropinus sits quietly in the water, using its big fins for stability. Their heads are covered in transparent skin, so you can see their brains and eyes in a level of detail not possible with any other species. The reason for this is quite remarkable, because they're actually able to change the orientation of their eyes and move them from looking forwards to looking directly up. This offers them a significant benefit. Not only can they see what's ahead when searching for food, but they're also able to make out the shadows of prey or possible predators that are swimming above them. They have exceptional eyesight for a fish with large lenses and a huge number of rod cells inside, which are what allows eyes to detect and process low levels of light. For some reason, these fish are often found with bioluminescent bacteria in some of their organs that mean they emit flashes of light as they're swimming. It's not entirely clear what purpose this serves, but it has been suggested it's a way for them to meet a mate in the sparsely habituated depths when they might go for days or weeks without seeing another living organism. Number 11. The Sea Devil Anglerfish Sea Devil Anglerfish are a small but frightening looking species that live across the Atlantic, Indian, and Pacific Oceans at depths of at least 10,000 feet. As with all anglerfish, the females are significantly larger than the males. Because of their unique mating habits, the sea devils will typically grow to around 7 or 8 inches long. In the darkness of deep water, they flash the light to attract prey. They are inky black in color, which helps them blend into the low light environment and have a large mouth full of razor sharp teeth. Again, as with other species, their dorsal spine has adapted to hang out in front of them like a fishing rod, and a structure called an esca dangles on the end that's full of bioluminescent bacteria. Fish are attracted by this glowing light, thinking it might be a small creature they can eat. But by the time they realize they've been tricked, it's too late. Sea devils don't, therefore, have to spend too much effort swimming large distances in search of food, because the use of their lure means that food simply comes to them. It doesn't matter what they attract either, because they have such soft skin and stretchy stomachs that they are able to consume prey that's much larger than themselves. Number 10. The Goblin Shark of the more than 440 species of shark that are known to exist, the goblin shark is one of the rarest and strangest that you'll ever see. These creepy creatures live in the depths of the ocean around the world, usually within trenches and on the side of continental slopes, and due to their unusual body shapes, aren't exactly the best swimmers. Growing to up to 20 feet long, they have flat snouts that look like the blade of a dagger, extending from the top of their head, and have maneuverable jaws. Pores in this snout, and behind each of those pores is a little ampule, it's called. Which means their long, barrow, and incredibly sharp teeth can protrude as far forward as the tip of their snout when they're hunting. They have long, slender bodies, which are covered in surprisingly flabby skin, and have relatively small fins that mean it's unlikely they're able to swim fast enough to catch up with their main food source of fish and crustaceans. Instead, they are believed to be ambush predators, hiding in the shadows and waiting for a meal to swim past. When the opportunity presents itself, they thrust forward with a short burst of speed and snap with their jaws to incapacitate their prey. Number 9. The Deep Sea Hatchetfish the deep sea hatchetfish is a species that is found across the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Oceans. But the chances of you ever seeing one are remote because they live far below where lights are able to penetrate. When fully grown, they can be anywhere between 1 and 6 inches long and are recognizable because of their peculiar body shapes that look like the structure of a hatchet. To survive in the deep environment, they've developed a clever system of bioluminescent cells across their entire bodies, which can be used to camouflage in the water column to evade predators. In a process known as counter-illumination, they're able to recreate the light intensity from above on the lower parts of their bodies. Their bellies carry rows of light-producing cells called photophores. 
so any predator that's beneath them and looking up won't be able to detect any shadows. There are at least 40 different known species of hatchetfish, many of which have shiny, silvery scales, slim bodies, and blade-like dorsal fins that help them to swim through the water at much greater speeds than other similarly sized fish. All of this combines to give them an advantage over their peers. In a world where if you can hide and evade predators quicker than something else, then your chances of survival are far greater. Greater. Number 8. The Zombie Worm The rather ominously named zombie worm is a term given to more than 26 deep sea worm species that are a vital part of the marine ecosystem. Not many worms grow complex root systems like a tree. If not, majorly creepy at the same time. The first were discovered quite recently in 2002, when they were found to be devouring the bones from the carcasses of a gray whale at a depth of almost 10,000 feet, and since then they've been seen on most corpses that have come to rest at similar depths. Strangely, they don't have mouths or stomachs, and instead release acids from their skin that dissolve the fats within bones, and then absorb the nutrients that they need. To fully access everything that's available, they actually drill into the bones with specialized roots, and release plumes of feather-like structures into the water that are used to filter oxygen for them to breathe. If all of this isn't strange enough, it's only the females that exhibit this behavior. That's because the males are microscopic and actually permanently live inside the body of the female. A recent sample found 111 males inside a single female worm, which certainly aids to reduce the amount of time that's spent looking for a mate. Number 7. The Deep Sea Dragonfish there is no doubt that the deep sea dragonfish is one of the most frightening animals that live in the depths of the ocean. And despite only growing to up to 12 inches long, you most definitely wouldn't want to encounter one of these ferocious predators in their natural environment. They have huge jaws that are filled with rows of some of the sharpest teeth of any animal. Living in the deepest depths, they have to be able to take advantage of any food source they find, even if it's much larger than them. So, they are able to open their jaws to an angle of more than 100 degrees, which means they can consume other fish that are up to 50% larger than their own body. In a similar way to other fish that live in the cold, dark depths, they have a barbell that hangs from their chins and contains bioluminescent bacteria. This attracts unsuspecting fish, who think they've spotted a potential meal for themselves, and once they get close enough, the dragonfish will snap with its vicious teeth. They also have light producing cells along their bodies. That's unexpected. And it's interesting. Ooh. Which are used to further disorient other fish, and are also believed to be used for communicating with others of their species, and to produce colorful displays to attract the mate. Number 6. Probe Shark Often referred to as living fossils because the species hasn't changed much for millions of years, frilled sharks are found between depths of 300 and 6,000 feet throughout the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. Typically growing to up to 7 feet long, they get their name because of the six frilly gill slits that begin at the top of their throats. This species is very rarely seen, and so little is actually known about their behavior or range. It has rows upon rows of trident-shaped teeth and fringe-like gills. They are thought to hunt and swim in a similar way to how snakes traverse through the water, slithering side to side to propel themselves forward, and then lunging towards prey before swallowing it whole. They have flexible jaws that can open surprisingly wide, and their mouths and throats are lined with countless rows of small teeth that are angled inwards, and mean that once something has entered the mouth, it has very little chance of escaping. Due to their strange, eel-like appearance, it's thought that frilled sharks could have been the inspiration behind ancient mariner tales of sea serpents. As they spend most of their lives at depth, they are occasionally seen closer to the surface, particularly at night, in search of food. Number 5. Lyopleurodon the oceans of the late Jurassic period, around 160 million years ago, were a far more dangerous place than they are today and one of the biggest monsters of them all was the Lyopleurodon. Growing to an estimated 21 feet long, 
Their name means smooth-sided tooth because of their rounded sides. This doesn't mean they lack a ferocious bite, however, because these teeth were three or four inches long and, combined with a powerful jaw, could have easily torn through flesh or shells. They have four large limbs that they use to paddle themselves through the water. And while this wouldn't have been able to sustain high speeds for long periods of time, the Lyoplurdon could easily accelerate for short bursts, which would have been more than enough to capture virtually any prey that swam into its path. It's thought that they would have laid in wait and had huge nostril that enabled them to smell for approaching scents and gave them plenty of warning to prepare to launch an assault on a target at the perfect moment. Number 4. Giant Spider Crab the deeper a species lives, the larger it's able to grow, thanks to a phenomenon called deep sea gigantism. This results in some unbelievable freaks of nature, such as the Japanese spider crab. They live at depths of several thousand feet and have the largest leg span of any anthropod. Incredibly, specimens can measure as much as 13 feet from claw to claw. It's almost three meters long and weight about 20 kilograms. With a body that's 19 inches across, they tend to live around vents on the seafloor and eat the plant life that thrives on the nutrients, as well as small animals that arrive in search of food. They have spikes all along their legs as an added layer of defense on top of their heavily armored shells. And while they normally have eight legs, it's not uncommon to find ones with fewer after having lost them to predators or human activity. Living to up to 100 years, they frequently molt and form a new shell as their body grows. And during this process, they can replace virtually any body part that has gone missing. This species is a highly sought after delicacy in Japan, but fishing them comes with its risks. As they are twice the size of a person and have extremely powerful claws, Fishermen often report injuries that can range from scratches and deep cuts to severed fingers. Number 3. Six Gill Shark the blunt-nosed six-gill shark is a relatively abundant species that can be found in the depths of all the oceans on Earth and are recognizable because they have six gills instead of the usual five, usually growing to around 13 or 14 feet long, but with some claimed to have been 18 or even 26 feet long, they are one of the largest species of fish that feeds on prey that isn't plankton and exist on a diet made up mainly of fish, rays, and squid. They are very similar to fossils that have been found from many millions of years ago. Six kill, six kill, six kill, yeah. six kill, swear to God, come for it, come for it. Which would suggest that they are very effective at surviving where many other creatures struggle. They aren't particularly fast in the water but are able to generate quick bursts of speed when they're hunting to catch up with and overwhelm their prey with their sharp teeth. They are generally regarded as being harmless to humans because of their docile nature, but if you were to ever provoke one, they wouldn't think twice about striking back. Number 2. Helicoprion The Helicoprion was one of the most bizarre-looking species of shark that ever lived and roamed the ocean depths around 290 million years ago. Instead of having rows of teeth in their mouths, they had what is known as a tooth whorl, which would have grown to be at least 18 inches in diameter. The shark itself was more than 33 feet long, with some evidence suggesting they may have been much larger than that, meaning they would have undoubtedly been the apex predators wherever they went. Quite how they used the whorl for hunting and eating isn't exactly clear though, because there's nothing quite like it nowadays to compare against. It's theorized that they had no teeth on their upper jaw, and that they would crush their prey between the whorl and the top of their mouth or perhaps use it in a sawing motion to tear away at flesh and scales. We should be thankful that these creatures aren't around anymore, because if they were, the ocean wouldn't be a very safe place to be at all. Number 1. Mosasaurus 
Living between 82 and 66 million years ago, the Mosasaurus was one of the most vicious and dangerous ocean predators to ever have been in the oceans. They grew to at least 52 feet long, but with such tremendous bulk and muscle, they could potentially have weighed as much as a blue whale. Surprisingly, the closest living relatives to the Mosasaurus are snakes, and this can probably tell us a lot about how they hunted. Dwarfing virtually anything else that was alive at the time, Mosasaurus was at the top of the food chain and would have seen everything as potential prey, probably even simply swallowing it whole. For larger victims that put up more of a fight, however, it was equipped with rows of teeth that were the same size and sharpness as a dagger, which would have made light work of even the toughest of protective shells. They are generally regarded as one of the most deadly things to have ever swum the oceans, and even though not as large as a fully grown megalodon, would certainly have put up a good fight against one if they had been alive at the same time. Which of these did you find to be the scariest? And can you even believe that they exist? Make sure to let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.